Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm gonna be doing another first impression. I'm really loving doing these videos lately. Today's review is on the Woosh Beauty Double Decker Liner Cushion Ink Liner and Eyeshadow in Black. This is what the little box looks like. This is cute, pro girl, noun. Someone who supports rather than competes with other women. Um, I really don't think women are to be blamed for sexism, but anyway. So here is the product. Um, if you've never seen a double decker product before, this is pretty standard of a format. You have like your cream or liquid on the bottom. In this case, it's a liquid liner inside of a cushion mesh. Then on top you have your powder product and this is just a black eyeshadow. So this I ordered from Ulta. It's now available in certain Ulta stores like in person um, and it was $26. $26 is not cheap but I do find that to be a fair price if this is a good product. Just for your reference this is the Bobbi Brown gel liner. This is $27 and you get 0.1 ounces. This is not a gel liner actually. It's a liquid liner in a cushion. The cushion liquid liner side you get 0.11 ounces so that's just a little bit more than the amount that you get in here plus you get the powder shadow which is 0.5 ounces so for $26 you're getting a lot more product in here than you're getting in the Bobbi Brown $27 regular um, gel liner they also have the cruelty free bunny stamp real quick on the ingredients it does look like the liquid liner has some ingredients to condition your lash line such as argan oil castor oil and algae extract and then your eyeshadow ingredients look pretty standard talc dimethicone I don't have a sensitivity to talc I don't really care if there's talc in my powder liner but <clears throat> if you care there you go there are no reviews on the Ulta website yet because this is a relatively new product so I'll just read you the claims it says our cushion ink formula delivers jet black color for sleek precise lines while our carbon black shadow can be used wet or dry to create a smoky sultry blend Sorry, I live near an airport. Use them alone or layer together for the richest of eye looks. So to do a wear test throughout the day, I only have two eyes. So I think what I'm going to do is do just liquid liner on one side and then do uh, the powder over liquid liner on the other side. There are no claims on the packaging or the Ulta website as to the wear time of this product, but liquid liners, I want them to wear a long time. So I already have my eyeshadow on. So I have two angled brushes here. I want to use something thin and angled. So I'm actually going to use the Anastasia brow brush. This is the number 14. I know the Smith angled brush is really popular for this purpose as well, but this is just what I have. And then for the powder, I'm going to use my Tarte brow brush because this is just a little bit like fluffier and mimics natural hairs a little bit better. Um, whereas this one's a little bit more plasticky and a little bit more precise. So that's why I'm going to use this one for the liquid. So I'm going to unscrew and as I showed you before, we have the black cushion in here. I'm just going to dip my brush in there. Okay, it looks like the end is fully saturated. Okay, so it does seem like a little goes a fairly long way. I'm not used to applying liquid liner with a brush, so it's not the easiest thing in the world for me. Let me do it without talking. <laughs> Okay, so I know I just said that a little goes a long way, but I also feel like I need to keep dipping back in. Now, I almost think that this brush may have been too thin. And that's why it's taking me so long to fill it in. See, when I go over it, I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of takes some product away. That's kind of typical with liquid liners, but yeah, I'm struggling a little bit to build up the color. I wonder what happens if I use it with my Tarte brow brush. I 
I kind of like that better. It's still kind of taking away what I already put down. Yeah, it's taking away what I put down. That's like really annoying. Um, I guess that's where the black powder shadow will come in handy. Okay, that's better. So the finish of it on its own isn't like super glossy or anything. It's not quite as matte as a gel liner. Um, however, I like it. I'm not super off put that it was difficult to build up. I kind of expected it with this kind of formula, but I am gonna go ahead and do the other one with the liquid liner and the powder. So this time I kind of outlined it with the Anastasia brush, that like smaller, stiffer brush, and then I filled it in uh, still with the liquid liner with the Tarte brush, which has a softer bristle, uh, and I kind of filled it in in one shot instead of trying to build it up with the smaller brush, and that worked better, but it's still a little streaky. Um, all I have to say is it's a good thing that this comes with the powder black liner because I kind of so far think it's necessary. Now I'm gonna take, oh and it has a tiny little mirror, I didn't even realize. So now I'm gonna take my powder black liner. It has a fair amount of kick up, um, so I don't know if I'm gonna get fallout, so I am going to just tap it into the brush to kind of help load it. This is the Tarte Brow Brush, and I'm just stamping it over that liquid liner to set it. And I definitely have a little bit of fallout. Okay, so that looks really really good that being said i think any liquid liner with a decent black shadow on top is going to look really good just my raw first impression is that the liquid liner is streaky um but having this together like the convenience of it is awesome so if this wears well throughout the day i probably will keep using this just out of the convenience i do have fallout though right in here, can you see that? So I am going to take a little brush and sweep that away. It kind of stuck a little bit, but not too much. I'm not mad, I'm not mad. Okay, I'm just gonna pop on some mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm wearing a mascara that I wear pretty much on a daily basis. Um, I know like what its wear habits are, so I am gonna be able to tell if this liner is smearing. And I did powder thoroughly under my eyes to give it a fair chance. All right, it's time for me to go to work. It's 10.57, I will check back in in a couple of hours. Bye. Hey everyone, I'm back for my first check-in. It's almost 7 p.m., so I've been wearing this for about eight hours. I didn't get more, let me zoom you all in. I didn't get more uh, smudging under my eyes than normal. I did get a little bit, but honestly, I think that's my mascara. I don't think it's the eyeliner. I didn't get any smudging on my outer corners, really. Sometimes the outer corners, like, start to rub off, and that didn't happen, so I'm happy. The inner corners look a little messed up. I don't know if that's... It's mainly this one, the one that I powdered. The side with the powder still looks a little bit more matte. Um, and just like a little more black than the other side. But both sides are pretty dark and are holding up decently. I don't know that I would say that I like this better than the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. So yeah, so far I wouldn't give it an A+, but it's not bad. Um, whether it's bad enough for me to want to return it remains to be seen. I do think I'm going to have to experiment with different application methods and stuff like that. Um, when I get back home tonight, I am going to try applying it with maybe a different brush and try applying the uh, black powder wet and stuff like that. Let me give you a finger swatch of the black shadow, actually. I'm gonna do one of these and... That is just not dark at all. Try and build it up. I mean, what's the point? It's not an eyeshadow. Yeah, so... It's not that dark. My gut reaction is to tell you that if you have Makeup Geek uh, Corrupt or even any of the black eyeshadows from the Balms palettes, which are really good, here. This is the Nude Tude palette, and there's a matte black in here called Serious. So let me just get some of that and just give you a swatch right here. Okay, see, so upon first swatch, it's pretty much as black as the built-up version of the Woosh powder liner. And I'm using a weaker finger 
The ring finger is actually the most gentle finger. That's why you should always use it to pat in your eye cream around the eye area. Let me try and apply a little bit more pressure. I mean, yeah, that one is clearly darker. When I come back later, I'm going to apply it with that e.l.f. liner brush and see if that like is a little bit more convenient for me than an angled brush. And yeah, we'll just see how well this lasts throughout the rest of the evening. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my final check-in. The time is 9.58. I'm officially an old lady. I am so tired. I'm just having fruit snacks. Christina is literally asleep on the floor. I don't know what's up with us. Overall, my makeup is looking kind of bad. Um, the liner, I rubbed the inside of my eyes, like my tear ducts. So that kind of came off, but that's to be expected. Otherwise, it looks good. Um, I would say it lasted pretty well. I didn't get too much smearing on the under eye. Now, am I out of my mind or, so this is the side that I use the black powder. Did I experience a little bit of transfer onto the hood of my eye? What do you think? This side looks a little bit darker, no? So I feel like the black powder gave me a little bit of transfer, which I do not feel like is normal. So I'm just going to try and remove my liner now. Okay, that is getting everywhere. I think I can confidently report that this is not waterproof because I'm taking this off with a baby wipe. Now on one side, I'm gonna take the liquid eyeliner with the e.l.f. liner brush. So I'm opening my little cushion side and I'm getting that saturated. Now let's see if I can do this. I feel like I need to leave the cushion side open and just keep re-dipping. I feel like there's no way to really be uh, careful with leaving it open, honestly. Because one dip is not enough. So the tip of this brush more closely mimics the tip of an eyeliner pen, which is what I'm kind of more used to working with. So I'm finding it a little bit easier, but I'm also finding that it's still streaky this way. Actually, that looks really good. Um, my brush is a little frayed. It needs to be replaced. But in terms of the evenness of the application, it looks a lot better than with the angled brush, actually. So... I feel like if I'm going to just go for the liquid, um, that a brush like this with a point to it is easier, at least for me, than an angled brush. So now I'm going to go to the other eye. I'm going to spritz my Tarte brow brush, and I'm going to go into my powder liner. Feeling this is not going to work out, but let's try it. Okay, so I like that. Um, it could be darker, but when I apply it wet, there's no fallout. So I feel like this could be a great on-the-go product um, just because you have a little bit of versatility with it. And yeah, those are just a couple of other ways to apply it. Okay, everyone, I look like death. It's time to go to sleep. Do I recommend this product? Mm, I don't know. If you want a liquid liner, I still recommend the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Samantha from Battle Ash just recommended something that she likes even better than that. I don't remember what it is, but I need to look it up and try that next. If you're somebody who loves to set their liner with a black shadow and you want something convenient, like in this duo kind of format, then sure, I mean, $26, not that bad for like two full-size products. If you travel a lot and you like this method of application, this is a decent product that gives you that. So overall, 
meh. Um, I will definitely update you later because I love eyeliner and this is something that I'm going to continue to test out. If you've tried any other cushion eyeliner type product that you liked, I am so intrigued and like really want to try one and like fall in love with one. So please link it down below. I'm dying to try a good one. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.